There are two types of boat tours in Santorini, the catamaran cruises and the volcano tours. Catamaran cruises are three times more expensive, but they also include much more. So which one should you pick? Well, by the end of this video, you'll know exactly which one works best for you. Let's start by having a look at the itinerary of the catamarans. So you start from the marina of Vlihava. The first stop is the red beach, then the white beach and the black beach. Mind that the boat doesn't go all the way to these beaches. Instead, it drops the anchor 100 meters away from the beach and you can swim around the boat at that spot. But so don't think you will actually go on all these beaches. All right, so after that, you will head to the hot springs where they let you swim for 20, 30 minutes. Then you continue to the very clear waters of Thirasia Island and you finish in Ia. Not all tours have this exact itinerary. Some tours don't finish in Ia, but instead they loop back to Vlihada. Others will have one extra stop or one less. So before booking anything, make sure you're okay with the route of that excursion. Now the price for all of this is around 130 euros per person. While the volcano tours, which go to the volcano, the hot springs and Thirasia Island, are only around 45 euros. But there are three big differences between those two types of tours. One, you obviously see much more during a catamaran tour. Two, catamaran tours also pick you up and drop you off at your hotel included in the price. And thirdly, you also get food and drinks on the catamaran. And it's nice food, by the way. Now, my main problem with catamaran tours is that they do not let you go on the volcano, which is, in my opinion, one of the must-dos in Santorini. The look of this black volcanic soil is very impressive. And these hot fumaroles that come out of the ground are also very unique. Now, why don't catamarans go there, you wonder? Well, because you need one hour and a half to actually see the volcano and walk around it. And these catamarans already have a very tight schedule because of how many other places they also have to go to. So doing a one hour and a half stop somewhere is impossible. Now, remember how I was saying that hiking the volcano is a must do? Well, there's a but. The walk to the top of the volcano only takes 20 minutes, but it's an intense 20 minutes, especially if you come during the hot months from mid-June to mid-September. So depending on your fitness level and how much you can take the heat, this volcano hike might either be amazing or horrible. So now that you know all of this, between the catamaran cruises and the volcano tours, which one is the best? Well, it all depends what type of person you are. If you're looking for something relaxing, spending your day on a boat, drinking wine, seeing many different places without even having to stand up, well then catamaran it is. If on the other hand, you're looking for something a little more adventurous or if you're on a budget, well, then it's definitely volcano tour. Now, of course, giving up on the catamaran tour also makes you miss the whole south coast of Santorini, including the famous Red Beach, which is a shame because the colorful cliffs of the south coast are really cool to see. But I know what you can do. There's another way to see those gorgeous cliffs. And before I tell you how, I'm inviting you to hit the like button if you think this video is being useful so far. All right, so what's the magical solution? Well, it's a kayak tour. There are a few companies running kayak tours there on the south coast of Santorini. And the great thing about those is that you can go way closer to the cliffs than a catamaran could ever go. So the adventure vibe is definitely present. All right, so what's the conclusion to all of this? Well, in my opinion, you have two options. One, you go on a catamaran cruise, very relaxing and a lot of fun, but you miss out on the volcano. Or two, you go on a volcano tour and a kayak tour on another day. I'm gonna leave you down below a few links in case you wanna book some of these tours. And just for you to know, these are affiliate links. So if you book through them, I will get a small commission, which is a great way for you to support this channel if you want to. I'll finish off with a little pro tip. Whichever boat tour or kayak tour you go on, have sunscreen and a hat with you because you're gonna spend many hours in the sun. But also bring a sweater or a jacket in your backpack because even though you're out in the sun, sometimes the wind can pick up and then it can get really chilly suddenly. All right, so I mentioned the hot springs earlier where both catamarans and volcano tours bring you. But what do they look like and how warm are they really? Well, that's what I'm answering in this video. And this one is about credit cards. Are they accepted in Santorini? And how much cash should you bring to the island? Well, all the answers in that video. And there you go. That's it for today. Hope you guys liked it. See you in the next one.
बाय